Hey YouTube, Alan back with another Mass System Monday and this week's pick is Desert Strike. Another late release of the system, it's 1993 in Europe, I think it might have been a European exclusive. And of course it's another EA conversion, we don't see too many of those so it's kind of odd to see the uh, EA uh, logo when the title screen kind of rolled around. And in the background there you can probably see the story playing away slowly, it's... It's obviously better known for its kind of 16-bit uh, versions on the Mega Drive and the SNES. Uh, I always really associate it as a Mega Drive game, actually. Uh, but the Mass System port does a fine job. I, I played this, to be honest, I think, probably before I played the Mega Drive version. Just, that's the system I had. And when I did later play the Mega Drive, it's like, yeah, you're not really missing out. This is this is a quality conversion that they managed to do. Like, all of the levels, all of the content, all of the enemies, all the missions pretty much are there. Like, it's... It's, it's a great conversion. Sure, the, um, the graphics are obviously scaled back, the music scaled back, but there's, there's you know, if, if you enjoy Desert Strike and you're looking for just more Desert Strike, you can go f a lot worse than with, than with the Mass System version. Um, now, this is another, uh, you know, Domark uh, release too, which is why it's got this huge tick manual. And most of it is because you got multiple languages, but rather unusually, well, there's there's plenty of pictures, which is nice. And a few of them, um, so you see they're, they're diff broken into different language regions. I'm trying to see it now, there is, yeah. There's a few pages here where it, where it switches and you get this kind of vertical uh, scoring information and stuff like that, which is interesting. So, Big hefty manual with a lot of interesting information. Um, we can see the game's finally kicked off in the demo there. Um, so yeah, I'm going to scooch this over slightly so we can get maybe a bit more of that in. And just, just you can see the visuals. They're a really nice, you know, port. Um, nice job. You, you, you certainly weren't seeing that in the early part of the Mass System's life. I mean, compared to say something like Choplifter, this is does kind of carry that 3D effect. Um, and of course, being a, a Domark release, we also get a, you know, kind of a full kind of artwork. Uh, looks pretty good, in my opinion. Nice spine. They they do kind of deviate from the format that I like, you know, where it has the, just grab one here, say this one here, Zool. You know, where you have the little uh, thumbnail representation of the game. But it's still, it's pretty nice. And they got the got to have their big door mark name on the back you get a you know a few shots of the game different levels obviously desert strike it's in the desert there's only so much variety that you're going to get in the graphics um but you know it looks nice um uh, makes good use of the system's capabilities i'd say and what do we have in terms of language we have the number one hit helicopter sim has now arrived on the mass system pilot your a H64 Apache helicopter through 27 in depth missions. That's a little misleading. Um, destroy scuds, uh, tanks, nuclear reactors, and rescue vital personnel in this all action test of speed and skill. Does it say it at the bottom? Yeah, it says 27 missions over four levels of difficulty. So I'd really kind of count it as four levels. And you happen to have 27 objectives. I suppose they do unlock over time, but there's basically four play areas. And this was one of my original, kind of, from my original collection, if you will. For those that have seen older videos, you'll know I have the, the little stickies in my original boxes. And it was a relatively, it was one of the later ones, I suppose, because it was 1993 when it came out. But I do actually have my little <laughs> codes that I wrote down when I was playing. As you see, I never got past the third level when I was when I was a kid. To be honest, I'm still not sure if, if I've ever gotten past the third level. Um, it's a tough game. I know Tony can complete it. He certainly completed it on the Mega Drive, and he makes it look a lot easier than I do. So, yeah. Someday maybe he should do a playthrough rather than me because I would I would suck at it. I can do level one pretty okay, but yeah, it's 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 a game I enjoy even though I'm not great at it. And there's plenty in the kind of mass system library to fall into that category, kind of like ghouls and ghosts and whatnot. And, and Desert Strike's one of those. It's also a different type of shooter. You know, it's very much strategic. You know, typically you have you, when you think of shooters on a system, you might think of Power Strike or or type or things like that, and they're great games. But this is a bit different because you do have to really think strategic about you know the 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 enemies where they're about and you know how you outflank them and whatnot. And the controls work pretty well despite the kind of two button nature and and whatnot. Anyway, rambling on long enough. This you know is a great game, well worth trying out, and it's still pretty cheap. So you know, good to add to your collection. Until next time.